all the talk lately about uh, cooling, temperatures and all that stuff, uh, something that needs to also be addressed is uh, the airflow in your case, the actual way that your case takes in there, exhausts it and uh, basically keeps it cool as well on the inside and removes the hot air and brings new air in. Now, that is mostly related to the fans in your case, or in my case, my desk. Um, there are two types of fans, like I have mentioned before in other videos, static pressure and airflow fans. Uh, I will not go through a lot of detail on the static pressure fans because it's mostly related to water cooling and specifically for the radiators where they encounter a lot of resistance. And then airflow fans are usually the ones more suited towards bringing in large amount of air to your case. But depending on the fans that you have, how many and where they are placed and the RPM and all that kind of stuff, there are three types of cooling setups that you can have. Those are positive pressure, neutral and negative pressure. Now what is the difference? It's mostly related to the amount of air and the pressure of that air going in and out of your case. If you have more air going in than going out, then that would be positive pressure. If you have more air pressure going out than in, that is negative and neutral obviously it's kind of balanced. Now, neutral in particular is very difficult, if not almost impossible to achieve, because there are so many factors that you need to take into account. Other things you need to take into account when trying to achieve whatever pressure you want to go for, like for example the resistance. Uh, if, like I said, if you have radiators for water cooling, the air going through will meet some resistance, that's why st static pressure fans are basically advised for radiators. There's also the filters and the fan grills and all that kind of things and depending on how your fan takes, uh, how your case takes in air, uh, there might be a cover in front of the fans that also needs to be accounted for in terms of resistance. So uh, it's not a simple case of if I have three exhausts and uh, four intake it will be positive pressure. No, you have to take those kinds of things into account. You also have to take into account the CFM of the fan or cubic feet per minute. That is a measure of the amount of air that that fan will move uh, per minute, assuming no obstructions and no resistance. That lets you know exactly how much you can expect out of that fan in terms of contributing to pressure going in or out. Something you also need to take in mind is how fast are your fans spin spinning. If they are spinning at 100%, they are at full load obviously, but the way to balance pressure out is if you want positive pressure for example, you can slow down your exhaust fans or speed up your intake fans or both, and then you achieve more air going in or more pressure of air going in than going out. That is a simple way to balance it if you have an uneven amount of uh, intake versus exhaust fans. Although, as a rule of thumb, if you have more intake fans, that equals more pressure going in, assuming similar circumstances in terms of RPM and uh, CFM and all that kind of thing. While a good uh, airflow is important for uh, you know cooling not only your CPU and GPU, of course, but also your RAM, the VRM or power delivery module from your motherboard and from your RAM and from cooling the hard drives a little bit, because even though they don't heat up a lot, they do generate some heat, cooling other components such as M2 drives and all that, that is also important to have a general good airflow in your case. But in terms of positive pressure versus negative, and I'm not going to address neutral because it's almost impossible to achieve. Uh, in theory, it is possible, but given all the variables that are involved, it's just not doable to aim for neutral pressure, to be honest. But uh, it is generally advised to try to aim for positive pressure. What does this mean? It means that since there's more pressure going into the case than actually leaving the case, it means that the air that's inside the case will be trying to escape by uh, going out. Where we will go out, if not via the exhaust fans, it will go out, for example, around the fan frame, uh, little crevices and holes, for example, like the 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 PSU uh, holes at the back, the vid the holes for the video cards. Uh, how are they called again? <laughs> A little derp moment. Um, you know, the ones that you kind of have to take off to uh, slam the card in there at the back. Uh, things like that, little joints at the back, for example, where the panel meets the case. There's, you know, there's always a microscopic little gap there. Uh, any 
crevice, every place that air can escape, it will escape through there. And why, why does that matter? It matters that air will be going out of there, as opposed to air being sucked in through there if you had negative pressure. What's the consequence of that? Less dust buildup. Why? Because those little crevices are not filtered, so air will be coming in with dust, hair, you name it. And if you have positive pressure, the only place the air will go in will be through the fans that are actually sucking the air in, which are probably filtered. And if they are not filtered, uh, I would recommend having them filtered, because even though it introduces some resistance, it does not cripple your cooling all that much, and it keeps your PC a lot cleaner. And having it cleaner means less maintenance for you, and it means that the dust will not be isolating the, the insulating the heat as well, which is also a consequence of having a dusty system if you let it go too far. So now you ask, uh, I have my fan set up, they're spinning this and that settings, how do I know if it's positive pressure or not? How do I know if I have to adjust it further? How do I measure that? Now, there are a lot of fancy equipments, there's flow meters that will measure the airflow and where it's going and all of that and give you exact numbers but do you really want to spend uh, dozens or hundreds of dollars slash euros on getting equipment just to measure the airflow in your case unless you're a system builder it's probably not worth it so my recommendation and uh, you'll get you are almost guaranteed to find one of these uh, if you live with a wife girlfriend mother or a female roommate I'm being stereotypical, I know, sue me. It is one of these bad boys. A little instant stick will give you an instant smoke test for your computer. With the added bonus of making your room smell nice. As you can see, it's not super visible, but you can see the air getting sucked in through the fan. Well, the smoke getting sucked in through the fan. Now, but it's obvious that this part is going to be getting smoke sm uh, sucked in because, well, it's the fan inhaling uh, the intake. So obviously the air will be going in. What you want to do is you want to go to the little cracks where you are not sure where the smoke is going. And I am not sure if I can uh, illustrate this a lot, but here, for example, you see there's a little crack between the desk and the glass, obviously there it's not going to be a perfect fit but do you want to know if it's positive pressure or neutral pressure or negative? You can do this here for example, and I know it's not a standard case but it's still good to know. You can check and you can see for example that the air is not really, well the smoke more like, is not really getting sucked in through there, so there is no air coming out of there or in there, it's pretty much just standing there the smoke so that is a good indication that my pressure is at least not sucking in unfiltered there now what you want to do and excuse the mess on the desk I'm kind of having a busy day with filming uh, what you want to do is you want to go around every little hole that your case slash desk has if you have a desk like me and you want to do this test and have some smoke there and see if the smoke actually gets sucked in or blown out or uh, exactly what how it behaves. If it gets sucked in through any hole that is not a fan, you want to basically increase your intake or decrease your exhaust to balance the pressure and make it positive. If it is getting uh, blown out then you definitely are fine because then you already have uh, net positive pressure and there is no dusty air going into your case. Now, again, excuse the messy desk, it's just a lot of paperwork that I have to deal with right now anyway. Um, and excuse a bit the shaky, messy video, but you get the idea. You can use an instant stick and uh, you can be a bit of a role player for a tech priest of Mars and uh, praise the Messiah and light some incense to make your PC run faster. I guarantee plus 50 FPS. Praise the Messiah. And um, yeah. You can use an insert stick to uh, check the airflow around the little cracks, holes of your case, any joints that might be letting air in or out. And uh, 
there there will be some flow unless you have neutral pressure which surprisingly I have it fairly neutral right now because I did not see any air going in or out through that little gap and I do know that there is a gap because when my fans are going full speed uh, I do feel air slightly coming out of there but in this case it was not getting sucked in it was not getting blown away either so my pressure is relatively neutral at this point which is not bad in, on in, uh, on itself as long as there's no dust going in anyway this is a cheap effective way to measure the airflow at least uh, to know if there is some uh, place that the air is going in. You can get those instant stakes at any sort of, you know, store, I guess. I'm not sure what kind of store you would call stores that sell stuff like that. It's kind of a general thing. Um, home store? I don't know. Anyway, you can get them there for like a dollar each or a euro each, a pack, I mean. And that should let you run plenty of tests in your case. And uh, yeah, it's an easy hack to uh, kind of check it so give it a go and uh, yeah let's try to keep our systems as free attic pc out